Alright, so we're back once again, and today I thought I would not berate the player base and myself like I usually do, much to the frustration of some of the people who watch my videos. No, we're not going to be doing that today. Today we're going to be discussing some of the best and most wanted players, and um, by most wanted, in what way I hear you ask. Well, put it like this, these are the players that if I had them on my team every game, I would probably never stop playing World of Warships, because every game would probably be the most enjoyable game I would ever have in World of Warships. But with that being said, let's get into it and discuss some of the players that make World of Warships just so much fun to play. And as always, if you like this video, give it a like, if you dislike it, give it a dislike, and if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. Now, let's actually get into it. God, I hate staying, saying that stuff. Anyways. Well, first up is the Super Unicum. This one should be fairly self-explanatory at this point. Super Unicums... Well, I think I've talked more about Super Unicums than pretty much any other form of player in all of my videos. But, just for old times sake, let's go over what they bring to a team once more, shall we? The Super Unicum, whether the quiet type or perhaps a little bit more vocal about their teammates, they basically help you win those unwinnable games carry when you make the most absolute basic of mistakes, not completely like a mother looking after their child as they ride a bike for the very first time, and not unlike when you fall off, they'll be there to pick you right back up and carry you to some extra XP, in the form of a completely free win. As long as you don't make too many mistakes, that the game is completely wrecked from that point going forward, then you basically become uncarryable. Super Unicums distort the game, but in a good way. They're the players that play the game on easy mode, so when it comes down to it, if the enemy team is good, then you're going to have an extremely fun and interesting game. And well, if the enemy team isn't all that good, then enjoy your free win, because that's exactly what you're going to get for playing with a Super Unicum. Let's move on. The friendly player. Coming in hot next is the friendly player. These are perhaps one of my favourite type of player you can bump into in World of Warships. Now, in case you're unaware, World of Warships isn't the most competitive of games. And as a result, although you do get some players that are a bit over eager to win, myself included sometimes, mostly the game isn't all that very intense. And what you get are players that are a bit more laid back than players you'd find in many other and perhaps more popular games, and that's speaking from a large amount of experience in other games before I made my way to eventually World of Warships. Friendly players are the type to always say good luck to both their own team and even the enemy team for some reason. Even though saying good luck to the enemy team is like saying bad luck to your own team, which I mean why would you hope the enemy team does well? Actually, why am I calling this people why am I calling this player friendly at all? I mean like they're hoping the enemy team does but anyways, the point being that they really enjoy the game when everyone enjoys the game. You can even message them after the game, asking for help, and they almost always oblige and offer what they can. Even if they aren't the Subunicum player that I've already discussed previously. I would even go as far to say that even the majority of the content around World of Warships is fairly positive, with perhaps some exceptions, again, myself included in that. But overall, friendly players really are one of the best things about playing this game amongst many others, and really are one of the most positive things about World of Warships. But with that being said, let's move on to the next type of player. The cool, calm and collected player. This next player might slide under the radar for the most part, mostly due to the fact that they almost never type in chat, and when they do, well, it's usually in response to someone else. Someone else who is losing their absolute mind from something someone else who is playing badly, or perhaps just made a simple mistake did. The message usually goes like this, dude, chill out, or take it easy man. Or my favourite, why are you mad? It's only game. Amongst other things. 
These players' ability to stay calm in the face of all that stuff that happened in World of Warships, be it yellowing teammates, raging teammates, and sometimes even enemy players, not to mention the games where you get dev struck, is legendary. So legendary in fact that it probably rivals those Shaolin monks you see sitting on top of mountains while it's minus 50 degrees outside, and they're sitting completely still, completely calm. Yes, the, the ability to stay calm in World of Warships is akin to that. Yeah, very funny. Anyways, the calm expressed by these players is something I really hope to at some point reach as I play this game for longer and longer, although somehow I think I'm still going to be susceptible to raging from time to time. At those players, I can't help but yolo the enemy Kremlin in their Des Moines. But I guess I can always try to get to a more calm point, can't I? Anyways, that's enough about the calm, cool and collected players in World of Warships. Let's get on to the next type. The funny guy. So let's go for a little bit of a change of pace. From perhaps the type of player that is somewhat common in the form of the cool, calm and collected player to someone a little bit rarer in the form of a funny player. I think it's fair to say that humour is probably the most subjective thing in the world, and me being me, I'm not completely sure that I have the best grasp on humour, considering some of the jokes I put in my videos tend to go about as well as the stock market did during the start of the virus, shall we say. Anyways, that's enough about me, on to the actual funny players in World of Warships. These players can turn one of the worst games in the world and make them become one of the most enjoyable. And all it takes is just one comment, or one chat message, that will completely change how you see the game and you'll go from crying because you're losing the game 7-3 in terms of ships, to laughing at the fact that you're the only one alive and the entirety of the enemy team is slowly hunting you down, like something out of Alien vs Predator if only Predator is someone who has a large flashing beacon on their head, i.e. four fires. Either way, the funny players are the ones I like the most, and they're the ones that can even see the best out of probably the worst situations. And they are perhaps the ones that make World of Warships the most enjoyable to play. But with that being said, let's get on to the final, final player of this video. And at last we get to the final player, the Silent Tryharder. I would like to classify these players as the underrated and unsung heroes in World of Warships. These players, whether they know it or not, are the players that keep the game afloat. These players love to focus on the game, and you can always be sure that they'll be 100% focused on the game and never get distracted by raging at their teammates, or being alt tabbed looking at Reddit. Not that I've ever done that, or anything like that of course or anything else that might cause as a distraction to drop their attention from the game at hand. Now some might say, what if these players are terrible at the game? What if they can't hit the broadside Des Moines from 9km away? What if they YOLO more times than they are flakes of sand in the universe? Well, that doesn't matter all that much to me. As long as those players are trying as hard as they can, I don't mind them YOLOing down the middle of the map, or even lemon turning to the edge of the map. What matters is that they get a sense of enjoyment from focusing and over time hopefully getting a bit better at the game. And if worst does come to worst, usually these players are the first to say sorry in the game chat when they do something they know is stupid. And that for me is probably the biggest thing, being able to own up to your mistakes. So a big thank you to all the silent tryharders in the game, you make this game worth playing, and a big thank you to all the players I've talked about in this video. These are the players that truly make World of Warships one of the most fun games to play. And that's just about it for all the players you'll actually want to have on your team during World of Warships games. Some of these players are multiple variants mixed into one, and some are standalone. But, but either way, I'm sure you'll agree that having at least some of these players on your team will be a welcome change to those who usually fill up the empty slots on your team. Is there anything you think I missed in terms of players that you'd like to have on your team? If you haven't seen my other video listing the types of players that you don't want to have on your team, there'll be a card, I think, somewhere in the video. If I missed something, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. And if you enjoy this type of content, again, consider subscribing. But do whatever you want. But until the next one, I'll see you all in the next one.